There is a delivery for you, Miss Moore. Can you just send it up or something? I'm too tired to go downstairs right now. In case you haven't noticed, even though you created me, I am just a voice assistant. So no, I can't get it for you. I'll work on that. Here I go again. Hermie Ashcroft, local child psychologist murdered. A 28-year-old woman was killed last night in an altercation that took place in the parking lot behind Tully's restaurant around 9.30 p.m. Ashcroft was attending the rehearsal dinner for her wedding to Christian Peterson. Police investigators have determined her death to be the result of a blunt impact to the head. Of course this would happen in a place called Riverdale. Apparently William McBride, better known as Bones, was wrongfully convicted. So I need to find evidence to prove his innocence and figure out who the real killer is. One of these men killed her. Java, are you there? What do you need my assistance with? I don't exactly know how to explain this, but there are these black veins on my arm and my eyes, they were all like demon-like. Java? When was the last time you slept? First of all, that's relevant. Second of all, I'm not delirious or crazy. Something happened to me. Shall I run a scan to check for any abnormalities? <sighs> yeah. I haven't done one of these before, so Scanning. what should I... That was easy. Well, am I going insane or is there something wrong with me? Java. There are no physical abnormalities. You emphasized on physical. What did you find? It seems that I've discovered something, but I don't think it is wise to tell you. What? Why? I'm afraid I can't tell you that either. Java, I swear to God, if you don't tell me what you know... I don't know where I was going with that, but come on! I have a right to know what you found out about me. I did not know an AI could sigh. Don't say I didn't warn you. It seems that you are not from Earth. And you also have powers. So I'm an alien. Wait, Java, do you know what powers I have? Jerk. Holly's restaurant, the alley, harmony, witness photos, harmony as a kid, her engagement ring, which was found in Bones' possession, leading to his arrest.
I just need to prove his innocence and find her killer. We have four suspects. Christian Peterson, the fiance. Rex Ratliff, the stalker. Andy Allen, the best friend. And Derek Sivers, the angry dad. Might I suggest going to sleep, Miss Moore? Well, look who's back. I'm serious. You should go to sleep. Maybe I could go to sleep if you just told me what my powers were. Now is not a good time. How about we schedule it for tomorrow at noon? Good night, Miss Moore. <sighs> okay, I need to build a timeline. Java, your assistance is needed. What do you need my help with? Do I detect some sarcasm in your tone? I need you to scan all the Ashcroft files and tell me everything that has a time in it. Pulling up Ashcroft files now. A 28-year-old woman was killed last Next. night. Next. We know this part. Is she much? What did you just say? Peterson was apprehended by police at his residence at around 10 p.m. Riverdale Schools is considering a switch to the balance calendar and a host a meeting at 7 Next, p.m. Next, something more relevant. The Riverdale Marina will be holding its annual vote. Now you're just messing with me at this point. And the traffic resumed across the bridge by 9.45 p.m. Wait. Dale Bridge? Yes. McBride left Rambo's bar at 9 p.m. according to witness statements. Where are you going with this? Tolly's restaurant is across the river. So, if the bridge was closed until 9.45 p.m. Then it would have been impossible for Mr. McBride to have gotten to the restaurant to kill Miss Ashcroft and then cross the bridge again to go to Grant Park. Exactly! <sighs> Miss Moore? Yes, darling? Shall I send over the proof of Mr. McBride's innocence over to the Riverdale Police Department? Yeah, you should do that. I doubt Bones wants to spend any more time in prison. Let's start off with their alibis. First, there's the fiancé. Mr. Peterson walked out of the restaurant with Miss Ashcroft to go get presents from the car. She stayed behind while he drove off to get the gifts from the house. The police apprehended him at their home at 10 p.m. It's not Peterson. What brings you to that conclusion? Well, first, it's too easy. After Bones, Christian would be the perfect fall guy. He was the last one seen with Harmony, and they did have an argument during the rehearsal dinner. Plus, how would he have had enough time to kill Harmony, drive over the Dale Bridge, which was closed, plant the ring on McBride, drive over the bridge again, get to his house, and be in it before the police apprehended him at 10? You have a good point. That would narrow us down to three suspects. Tell me more about the stalker. I don't think it's Ratliff. How come? His landlord said his car didn't leave his parking spot after 9. 
So if he did kill Harmony, he would have had to literally sprint or use someone else's car to travel that distance in under an hour. He did call Miss Ashcroft an excessive number of times. True. But I think he's desperate. Not a killer. Then that leaves us with Mr. Allen and Mr. Sivers. Perhaps you should return to the case in the morning? No. I need to figure out who killed her. Tell me about Andy Allen and Derek Sivers. So, the motive is either love or revenge. Sivers was boating with Admiral Joseph Arthurson from 8.30 to 10.30 p.m. So unless the Admiral was lying, he's clean. Which means, you, Mr. Allen, are my number one suspect. Chad Highsmith mentions how his father told him that most murders are really more about love than hate. Then maybe it's not a coincidence that Miss Ashcroft was killed the night before she got married. Perhaps not. Andy went over to his neighbor Jason's house around 10. Jason said he was kind of sweaty and out of breath. How likely is it that he went to the dinner to stop it? The rehearsal dinner started at 8, before the bridge closed. If he was deeply in love with her, then it would make sense that he would try to intervene. Plus, Grant Park is on his way home from Tully's. Very convenient. You should take a closer look at the photographs. I believe I found something. Can't you just tell me? It's better if you find it yourself, Miss Detective. The license plate number in this photo is 644435. And Andy Allen's license plate number is 644435. My wonderful Java, you are brilliant. You should send this over to Riverdale PD and go to sleep. Better idea, how about you send this over to Riverdale PD while I go to sleep? Already sent. Good night, Java. Good morning, you have a letter. Thanks for the wake-up call. Who's the letter from? Miss Ashcroft. I got a letter from a ghost? Miss Ashcroft as in Harmony's mother, Deborah. Yeah, that makes more sense. My knight in AI form, do you think you can sum this up for me? It's too early to read this much. Deborah Ashcroft wanted to thank you for your help in her daughter's case. She has always held resentment with Christian for what happened. She said she also wants to be happy for Jenny and him. Jenny, isn't that Harmony's friend who was one of the witnesses against Christian? You are correct. Wow, I guess Girl Co. doesn't continue in the afterlife. Sorry, continue. She heard that you were investigating Andy Allen. She's known Andy since he was six and he would never hurt Harmony. They've been inseparable since T-Ball. She even included a photograph. Which kid is Andy? The one next to the mother. No freaking way. I do not understand. Pull up the autopsy report and read the section Manner of Death, the second part. The force and ankle impact indicate the murderer would need to be a left-handed or ambidextrous man or woman of considerable height and strength. In this photo, it shows little Andy being left-handed. And on his person of interest form, he said that he was right-handed. He probably heard the police were looking for someone who was left-handed, so he lied about it to take some of the heat off of him. Miss Moore, it seems you've done it again. Only because of your help. Now, let's get this information to the RPD so they can arrest him. It seems that Mr. Allen has confessed to murdering Miss Ashcroft. <sighs> 22 years late.
My name is Andy Allen, and I killed Harmony Ashcroft on May 8th, 1998. It was a crime of passion and not premeditated. Ugh. Okay, so you're too scared to confront her, so you wait until Harmony's alone, and then you confess your love, but she doesn't reciprocate those feelings, so you kill her. Logical. Ugh. Absolute garbage. Well, good night. Hold it. Don't think I forgot about our conversation at the beginning of this case. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. I just want to know more about myself. Is that so bad? I do not think you're ready to handle this. I need to know. According to my scan, you are from a planet called Kaltera. I've never heard of it. Neither has most of the people on Earth. Very little have. Interesting. What are my powers? I don't exactly know, but they are dark. The hell does that mean? You are filled with darkness, and you can manipulate that darkness into energy. That's kind of cool. But it's bad? Yes, but maybe you can prevent the evil from taking over. Wait, what? What do you mean, prevent the evil from taking over? <sighs> I guess I have a new mystery to solve.